No, no, no. Oh, hey, what's up guys? Check out this, I guess this is a fidget spinner. Somebody emailed me like um, a week ago and they were like, you gotta check this spinner out on eBay. I bought this, I'll put the, the photo here, but I've, I had this for a few days now and I'm gonna give you the pros and cons about this fidget spinner, okay? First of all, it's, um, it's a little bit sharp. It's made out of metal and you can see here and the bearing here is actually bigger than the ordinary bearing size. You know, your typical um, spinner, you have like a 608 bearing. This one here is obviously, I mean, it's a lot bigger of a bearing here, you can see here. And of course, you know, it doesn't, ha it doesn't come with caps here. And, you know, but there are spinners that you have where you actually put your finger in here and you can kind of roll like that. Now, the thing is, I mean, you can still put it like this. You have to have like really long fingers to do this, okay? I still have kind of trouble doing this. Sometimes it'll hit the top of the bottom of my hand a little bit, but you can see it still pretty much like does the job, but this is definitely not something that you would really fidget with. You know, like for instance, like here's a typical fidget spinner here, or you know what, better yet, let me just get another one. Most of you guys got something like this one here. And I mean, this one here, you can play around with in your hand and stuff like that. This one here, I mean, what are you gonna do with this? You're gonna be like sitting around in the library or like in your classroom, you're gonna, you know, are you really gonna be spinning like this? You know, I mean, this is, this, I mean, literally is more of a, it's not utilitarian, it's not really, you can't sit there and play with this. I guess if you're by yourself, like laying around, then you can go ahead and um, spin this around. But the spin time, obviously, it's, it's definitely not enough. You have to have something that spins at least, at least like 45 seconds. Like, come on, this is like no fun. You have to use two hands every time you use this because it's so freaking big. Let me just give you a comparison, uh, a, a quick comparison in size. I mean, look at this. This thing is huge. And like I said, if you don't have like big hands, you're not gonna be able, you're not gonna be able to spin it like this. And that's pretty much the spin you get. Now, now check out the box. Now, probably you younger guys know what this is, but I mean, this is the box that it came in, okay? Uh, it says like Hero Weapons. I have no idea what this is. If you guys know what this is, like let me know. But this is what it came in. And like I said, this is more of a collectible item you just like keep around. Or, I mean, it's definitely not something that's utilitarian. It's definitely not something that you can just keep playing with. So, I mean, it does look cool. I'll definitely, I mean, I'm still happy I got it. I think this is the coolest looking spinner I have, but it's not really a fidgeting uh, toy. It's not really a fidget spinner. You really can't do much with this. I guess, you know, unless you just want to look cool in front of women and girls and stuff like that, you can kind of twirl this. But other than that, I mean, for me, I'm just going to probably just keep it up on the shelf somewhere. And anyways, I'll put a link um, where I got this from on eBay. And I, I don't think I'm going to do a giveaway on these guys because it is kind of like dangerous. I don't want to get sued or somebody because, I mean, if you, you know, you, this kind of hurts. You do this. I mean, like, come on, look at this. Let's go this way. Let me show you this way here. And let me just show you. Let me just put a finger in here. And let me show you this. So something I definitely would not recommend you guys getting, okay? Unless you want to use this as a collectible. And that's pretty much it. And yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.